Thanks for joining me in the studio today. In this Quilt and Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put together the quilt called Baby Checks. If you'd like to purchase this pattern, you can visit our website. Okay, for this one, we're going to be using two and a half inch pre-cut strips, and we're going to be adding just a really simple white background with a little dot to it. To see what the quilt is um, constructed from, let's look at the quilt. The very center, there isn't one particular block. So we have the entire center of the quilt is a checkerboard pattern, and then we have an, um, an inner border of the light background and more checkerboard for the outer border. So what we need to do is create a lot of strip sets. And in order to do that, we're going to be cutting white, um, from the white fabric strips uh, that are also two and a half inch wide, just like our pre-cuts, but we're gonna be creating two different patterns of strip sets. You'll see here, this one consists of three light fabrics, two of the print, and then we're gonna construct strip sets of three prints and only two of the light. And remember, um, if you've done a lot of strip sets in the past, always remember, uh, make sure that you take time to press as you add each row to it. Don't try to do all the sewing and then jump to the ironing uh, in the pressing part. In order to keep your strip set nice and neat, you wanna press as you go. And in this um, case, I have pressed um, all the seam allowances toward the print fabric, and then you'll get um, a nesting seam later as in your construction. And then from those strip sets, you need to cut two and a half inch wide units or segments. So if you um, create, I've got short ones here, you'll have longer strip sets, but in order to accommodate the space, I've made them a little shorter. What we're, we can do then is stack the strip sets in order to cut quickly. Now, if you're new to this process, just cut one layer at a time, or one strip set at a time until you're comfortable doing this. And then maybe you can graduate up to um, cutting multiple layers at once. And you can probably do three or four layers, depending on how sharp the blade and how new it is in your um, rotary cutter. But what we're gonna be doing is cutting two and a half inch wide segments here. So I'm gonna overcut that means to cut a, the first strip a little wider because you can see my edges aren't even yet. So I'm going to come in and cut it just a little bit longer so that I can go back and cut a nice two and a half inch wide segment from that piece. And that will be my first, first segment. And then I can continue down the strip set, cutting those two and a half inch strips, making sure to always measure two and a half, kind of always keep an, um, an eye on that kind of horizon line across the seam line in your strip set to make sure that you're keeping this nice and square. There are times when you may have to go back and overcut again and just take off a little bit to keep your strip set nice and neat. So if you're creating all of these strip sets then, this would be what we're calling strip set one. It consists of three prints and two lights. So put that in that stack. Kind of keep them separated because you're going to need to alternate them when you're creating that center portion of the quilt. And I'll show you what I mean by that. You're going to start with strip set one. Now the diagram in your pattern um, has all the information you need to put together that center section. And you'll see, since it finishes here with a print, you would need a light next. And you'll be chaining together three of those for a vertical row in your um, center of your quilt. And then you'll come back and start with strip set two. But if I put the one with the dot there so you can see it more easily. And then you'll be alternating again back and forth to create that center portion. When you've got your long vertical rows um, attached and you would join those rows, you're going to be using um, a wider strip of an inner border and then going back to the strip set pieces for the outer border. So follow your instructions for that. If you'd like to see more of our videos, you can visit our website. And thanks for joining me today.